everybody, this is Miss Hall. Just wanted to make a quick tutorial about how you can take a drawing that you've made and scanned into the computer and turn it into something really professional looking in Illustrator. So right now what I have is in my email inbox, I have this image that I scanned in um, on the scanner. Don't forget whenever you use the scanner, you want to make sure that your drawing is turned upside down because the camera is underneath that glass. So this is a drawing that I made. I also trace this in Sharpie because I find that that makes it easier for the computer to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download that using this little arrow. I'll click down here and then I'll download it again. And then that allows me to save it and label it to where I'd like it to go and save. So now I've brought it from the scanner into my email onto my computer. And now let's bring it into Illustrator. So this is my Illustrator document. It doesn't matter what size it is. This one in particular is eight and a half by 11, just a standard piece of paper. And what I'm gonna do is click File Place to put that flower where I would like it. So let's find that, it's right here. Um, and notice it's a PDF file, that's totally fine. And we're just gonna hit OK to place it. So it goes off the page a little bit. That's not that big of a deal, nothing that we can't fix. Um, but as of right now, what this is, is this is a PDF. So that means it's a pixel-based image, which we know means that if we zoom in too far, it will get really grainy and not nice and clean. So we want to clean that up. So to do that, what we'll do is, with the image selected, we'll come up here to where it says Image Trace, choose this little triangle next to it, and there are lots of different options you can choose for whatever the occasion is. In this situation, I'm going to choose black and white logo because I want to narrow it down to just black and white. And I'll hit OK. And it'll think for a second. And then when it's done, what I'll have is a nice cleaned up drawing. And you'll notice that now when I zoom all the way in, it doesn't get blurry at all, which is really exciting. Um, the next step that you want to make sure you do not miss is to come over here and hit Expand. And once you hit that, it turns these all into their own individual shapes and points. Now notice that when I have my black um, arrow selected, it clicks everything at once. But when I have my white arrow selected, you can choose just one section at a time. You also want to take notice that this white area that was the paper is also considered um, part. It's also considered a shape. So what I would do if I were you, if you are able to, is just delete that. And then what you're left with is just the flower drawing. You can then go through and delete if you have any weird lines like this that you don't need, just highlight them and delete them. If you want to rotate the drawing, I just highlighted the whole thing, got my black arrow, and then I can come over here and just rotate it to go the direction that I want it to go. And actually, I might even do this. I might even see if I can say object, transform, and reflect, and that way, I've got it flipped around the way that I had envisioned it. So that's also an option for you guys. If you have this selected and you go up to Object Transform, you can rotate it, you can reflect it, whatever you need to do. Um, so let's talk about what to do once we sort of get to this point, because you've got a lot of options. Now you've got your beautiful drawing, and we want to think about what can we turn this into, how can we add color to it, and you've got a lot of ways to do that. In the event that something is a closed shape, meaning that there's no opening in it, with your white arrow tool, you should be able to just click on it and change the color of that. So this is a leaf. So maybe I want to go through and make these these leaf shapes, um, make these leaf shapes green. Now notice though that does not work on this shape because if you see, this is not a closed shape. See how there's this opening right here. So when I go to click on it, Illustrator recognizes it as a path instead of a shape, but that's okay. We can still add some color there. So in the event that Illustrator does not recognize it as a closed shape and you can't just click on it and change the color, the way that you would change the color would be to use the pen tool. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll come over here to my um, layers. I'll make a new layer and put it underneath my old one. And then I'm going to lock this layer that has my drawing on it because then that way when I'm clicking around, I won't accidentally select something I don't want to select or move things around I don't want to move. So what I'd like to do now is I'd like to fill in this um, shape with color. And let me just double check and make sure. Um, sometimes it might mess you up a little bit if um, this shape has white in it, but I think we should be good. So let's go in and add some color with that pen tool. Let me just make sure I was doing this right. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So on my new layer with my pen tool, I'm going to select that green color I was using. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click around this shape. And as I do that, you'll notice that it fills it in with color. So this is a nice way to add color to something um, if it wasn't just that easy solution of um, clicking and changing the color. So that would be how you would add color to something. You can also do that, um, say, for like the whole leaf. So now I've got this light green color here, but I want to fill this whole leaf in with a dark green color. So I'll go in and I'll choose a darker green with my pen tool, work my way around and trace it, making sure to get rid of those suggested paths. As you move, you can always go back in and clean things up. Totally fine, but you'll notice then now, because I used my layers, thinking like a sandwich, and how they all work on top of each other. Oops, let's fix that one up, it didn't work so well. Um, now that dark green is going underneath that light green, which is exactly what I want. And all of it is underneath my black drawing, because that's how I worked my layers. And it worked out in my favor. So, that would be how you add color to something. Um, Let's talk about some other options that you have. So now that guy is done. So let's back it up. Starting to add some color in here. Things are getting interesting. Um, let's say maybe I noticed a couple things that I did not really like. So what you can do is you can go in with your um, white arrow tool, really zoom all the way in. And maybe if you're thinking like, hmm, let's find something. Maybe if you're thinking, uh, you know what, I don't really like how this, this leaf shape ends. I can zoom all the way in as far as I want. Click on that area. Oh, except it's locked and you can't do that. Click on that path and then you'll see that all of these anchor points come up. And since I have my white arrow tool, what I can do is I can actually double click on those points and I can move that path around. So if I wanted my path to come all the way up and extend to come meet that other leaf, I could change that. If I wanted to make this line a little bit thinner or change the angles, I can do that. Um, it really gives you a lot of freedom to really polish this up and make this look totally, totally professional. Um, the other thing you might want to consider doing, so we talked about adding color, we talked about moving the shapes around. Um, if you want to do that. Notice though that when you do, when you use that feature where you just click on something to add color to it, let's say I want my flower to be like pink, you don't really have a whole lot of control. Um, so I would say that, you know, use all the options that are available to you, but just keep in mind that there is more than one way to add color to what you're working on. So like, see in this situation, it's not recognizing this shape as a path, but it is recognizing this one. So you can either use the pen tool or you can use your selection tool, whichever one works for the purpose that you need. So let's talk about um, how to add text to this and maybe some different ways that we can do it. What you could do is I'm going to lock all of these layers and add a new layer. And I'll type in, let's call it like um, Lucy's Luau. I'm pretty sure that's not how you spell Luau, but I'm just going to go with it. Restaurant. We're just going to go with it. Not sure how you spell Luau, but I'll let it go. Um, we can change it to whatever font we want it to be. like that one. Um, so now a couple of things that we can do. I'm not sure if you guys knew this, but with the with text, if you use your black arrow and click on it, hold down your shift key and pull from the corners, it will stretch proportionately. Um, and you'll notice that the font size changes with it. So then we can put that right over top of here if we wanted to. Um, we can change the color of it so it's something more tropical and maybe a little bit easier to read. That looks nice. Um, you also could if you wanted to type this on a path. So let's say maybe I wanted to make a um, path that went like curved away from the flower. I could just click and drag however I want that path to go. Always make it a little bit longer than it really needs to be because for some reason Illustrator doesn't always cooperate when your line is not long enough. Click on that path and um, put that in. And see what I mean? Sometimes Illustrator will just sort of like cut it off even though it is the right size. But that's okay. We can just make it smaller and like get that restaurant to fit there. Um, you also can move this around wherever you want it to go. So maybe you want it to be up above the flower. Maybe you want to um, curve it, turn it, 
that is 100% up to you guys. So that is just a quick tutorial about how you can take a drawing that you made, scan it into the computer, and turn it into something really professional looking. And I hope that you guys found this helpful.